Well, hello everybody and welcome to episode 28 of FPL Top Dogs Balionis. And um, episode 28 here, the 4th of March. And what a game week. So um, let's see if we have anyone to come on. I think we have Snowman here, ever present. So um, let's see how, let's see who comes on tonight. Hello, Christy. Hello, Snowman. Lenny, how are you? Not too bad, brother. Missed you for a couple of weeks, but I know you've been busy, so fair enough. Um, and just to um, go on to you is that having a look at the latest FPL, Christy, it looks like you'll get on Kansa for um, Mitchell, and you'll, you're going to have an epic week. 130. Oh, I, I used my bench. I'm just looking up now. I don't know. I'm just looking up now, but I, I did use my um, bench build. Yeah, you did. And you've got 113 points. And by my reckoning, Mitchell will be subbed for Kansa rather than Ward Prowse because you need to have three defenders. So you're going to end up on a lovely nine points from Kansa, 122 points. And it's been a long time coming. Yeah, it's been a um, hundred and what? hundred and thirteen. Yes, two. Eventually, minus four. No, no. I'm just looking at it here now, Vince. I did the bench boost. That includes the bench boost. All oh, right. Can we start this episode again? <laughs> I think. Oh uh, yeah, you're right. Bench boost, but a great total, um, bro. So a hundred and nine points. Come here, can you still hear me? It's just stuck in my head once. So you're making a, you're making a run for the top ten. You're looking for a hat. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, that's fine. No, it's just um, these headphones aren't working right earlier. Okay. Yeah, I'm making a run for a top ten. So I hope I make it. But I've got good players behind me and good players in front of me. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm quite a bit down. I just can't make any ground on the guys ahead of me. Aiden Fitz, Steve Nolan has been getting great scores. Not so much this week. Dave McNamara has got the best of me. Healy is looking for a top two finish, which was in, within range. And Mark is just treading water. Um, none He's got of the competition there, hasn't he? Yeah, none of us are going anywhere, really, I suppose, compared to Joey. Joey's just been different stratosphere. Fair play to him. Um, mm. Is 84 points good for him? Triple captain. I think he's gutted. I'm go I'm, Listen, I'm gutted. The way that we played the, the first half against Fulham, the penalty that was disallowed on Kane, all them bonus points thrown out the window. Son doesn't get the assist because it's apparently... Ali's goal has gone off a defender. It was a shot on target. I have no idea why they've given it to that idiot defender for an OG. I've lost three points in Son. It's been 100% <laughs> underwhelming week. You know, um, a total bitter taste in my mouth with DCL blank in two game weeks. I was going to have Rickarlson, DCL and Kane in my original. But... Um, uh, free hit. It's okay. 86 points. Look at the Man City players. Absolutely baloney. You've got to get rid of all your City. Well, you, Diaz is probably the only one you'd have in that, and, uh, or Emerson. And then the rest of them, they'll probably be rested after the Champions League game. You know, and then they'll play the next... Ah, forget, yeah. it. forget it. What do you think of the City? It's just I have totally a wild card. I have a wild card to use in a couple of weeks' time, and I haven't a clue what to use it on, who to use it on. Oh, I know. Well, I, 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 the obvious area is like, you know, get rid of Mitchell, get rid of Steer. Well, maybe not get rid of Steer because I'll have Mendy, but like, get rid of Phillips. Obviously, they're, they're gone, but like, what do you do in Man City when they're going to be resting players? Yeah. Yeah. What can you do with Liverpool when they're so, so bad out of form? Like, like it's it's 
it's unbelievable how badly out of form they are. Well, see, the thing is, Christy, did, did the Jesus pay against West Ham? But I know that you've been getting guys rested and he's done well for you, you know, tonight. 14's not too bad. But it's... it's, it's just, yeah. He annoyed me there a couple of weeks ago because yeah. he didn't... I'd, I'd Rickardson as well and Rickardson, Rickardson was on way to Liverpool and he scored his goal and he had like 12 points or something like that. No, I'm not 12. Eight or nine points. And like, you know, I was hoping Jesus didn't start against Arsenal and he came off the bench, like, you know, for about 20 minutes. I was like, ah, for God's sake, like, <laughs> he and, stopped, uh, he stopped. Who did eight you... nine points coming up from that day. So. Yeah, but you lost some points because Jesus came on for a point. Yeah, and stopped like eight or nine points from Carson. I didn't play oh. Carson because he was away to Liverpool. I should I probably should have, but like, the two players are in form. Like I like I've got the I got the two players in just before they hit form and now they've hit form the two of them. So I kind of have to keep them well, Christy, for a little bit, don't I? Christy, them two plonkers have done very little for you in the last four game weeks up until the last this double game week. You deserve whatever's coming to you. Seriously, no. they, they owe you. Well, they owe you. They, well, they owe me, yeah, but like they're, they're still in decent form, so you can't exactly. Decent form, uh, yeah. But like, look, you were telling me that one's on the bench and the other one. I, I, I'm finished with City. Okay, I'm going to keep John Stones, and that's it. I, I'm not having anything. And listen, keep them. Listen, Laporte has come in. He conceded the goal against Wolves. Um, I thought you mean I want that guy out of the team. I want Diaz and Stones. Cancelaro, two games and two points. Whoopie do. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm changing things around. There's going to be a big minus next week. I cannot be... I'm sitting. just looking... I'm just looking at Adrian there. One point off 100. That's annoying. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's have a look at Ado's team, the star man. Again, Sterling is just a disaster. You cannot... N- all season, there's been no consistency with any of the big guns. De Bruyne... Is it just me or has he had Sterling for like 10 weeks? He's had Sterling Something all the like way. Yes, he has. Um, he's done a bench boost. His bench boost has really come up trumps there a bit with Bickford. Gundogan, I'm not sure. Yes, bench boost is all right, didn't it? What? His bench oh, boost. Oh, I, I seen his goalkeeper. I yeah. actually transferred in the goalkeeper there last or last tonight. <laughs> no, sorry, I didn't. I went for a different Brighton defender. Probably dunk anyway. I was thinking about getting I dunk. Went, I went for dunk. Yeah, well, I, I know I why because we're looking for game week 29 with those four games. Mm. I know I'm looking at the yeah, same thing. Um, I got rid of Juan Bissaka and I brought in dunk. That's that's my transfer. Uh, there, fair enough. That actually, I did the same transfer um, mm. prior to this game week, the double game week. I like six days before the double game week, I, I transferred out Juan Bissaka for dunk. Thinking that once I played the the free hit a few days later, I would have not missed my transfer. But lo and behold, once you do the free hit, the dunk Wan Basaka transfer just went in with the free hit, and I lost the transfer. It's a total joke. Oh. You, lose, you lose a transfer if you if you play a chip. And now I'm going into the week with I let one that ah, it's, it's forget it. I think it's a con. You were doing it. You were doing it. You were doing it anyway. You were doing it anyway. I was, but I still don't have it. I'm going to go back to wan now, next week. Are you serious? Yeah. I've lost the whole oh. thing. Yeah. It's a joke. Like, I think that's a glitch in the whole thing. If you make a transfer before you do your chip, you should not be losing your transfer. I don't care. And that was six days before I did the free hit. So, feck it anyway. Uh, that's I think bad. Dunk, yeah, look, listen. Dunk had that free kick that was disallowed. He scored the thing, the whole lot. Imagine the state of me if, you know, at this stage, I, I'm lumbered on wan you know. I don't know, mate. I don't know. Mm. Uh, so, like, yeah, what else can we say? Um, have to mention the face man here. He's just in, in, in he's just unstoppable. Um, you know, and Christy Nicholson here. Um, He's got everything right. He's getting his captains right. And he's the best he's ever done. 
in the, the yeah, it's not a fair play to him. No, I give him, I give him a few ribbons now during the year now. So, you know, he's doing very well for himself. No, like it's 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 unbelievable how far he's come. Like, yeah, he's played nothing as well. So that means that he's still got all his um, he's got all his chips. We most of us only have one thing to play. You've got a wild card or something. I have a wild card and a tri- that's it. triple captain. Oh, that's not bad. You're in a good position. You can make a run for it then. Yeah, I think it's a possibility. Yeah, you could make the top 10. You've got rabbits in the hat, you know. Uh, I'd be more worried about the people behind me there now because they're like, I was a good bit ahead of them. And like, you know, you know, it's kind of like Vine competitively last few weeks, but I've got a few points in hand there now this week. So. I need to push on. Yeah, I, I can't believe um face man's not played anything. Maybe he's felt he's not need he's not needed to. He's been proved right. Uh, like he, when's, look, he's when's got gonna a use triple captain like? and a free I can't believe it. He's a triple captain, a bench boost, and a wild card. I think this guy's hunting for Joey. He's hunting for the commando. It's possible. Uh, he's not gonna get him. A hundred and fifty points. Yeah. Uh his momentum is just phenomenal. He's made 15 points on Joey. Um, okay, let's see when he gets into the 17s and hopefully Joey won't get to 19 before he gets through the thick of it. You know, um, it's not fair. Listen, I don't care anyway. Out of the top three, I've got a hat to look forward to. A hat. I have to make myself did you get, prizes. Did you get, how, get high, how high did you go? How do you mean? How high were you? Like, I think you were fifth at one stage. I was fifth, and I've got it was just I'm in quicksand, it's just quicksand. Um, mm. you know, like if you look at this story, like you know, without Son, if, if Son didn't, I'm sorry, Kane, so who who got me out of it? It was a real hard graph to get to the 86 anyway. Kane, absolute donkey tonight, rubbish. I didn't watch it. Son. Every single minute that went by after the 60 minute, Son was like with one leg hopping about. It, it just absolutely rubbish. Mm. Um, none of the substitutes Cal- made any. Calvert oh, Loon. forget it, mate. Um, Calvert Loon hasn't done much now lately. Oh, Calvert Loon, yeah. Disaster. Um, and Barnes, look at Barnes. Listen, Madison is injured for me. I'm going to go back to Madison now next week because I did my free hit. And I transfer in Barnes, thinking that he scored like seven or eight goals by now. Is it the you know nine goals or whatever he scored? And then he gets injured and he's out forever, you know. So that's that's. Did brilliant. I see someone captain him? Yeah, Willie William, the hitman, did. Oh. Uh, sure, it's that's totally goosed the hitman now. That you know he's he's captain Barnes and he's hoping for the Leicester ticket and. Well, that's the problem. He's been like, in Van Arnold. He's played. He's played the last few games. Good pick there. Yeah, yeah. In all fairness, like you know, William has something about him. He is FPL goal, but this season is just, you know, I want something to do with the P word and the wind. You know. Uh, so 522 he's not too far down on you Christy 30 points but no. this year it seems that 5 points is like impossible to get on anybody everybody's watching their back nobody cares about the overall everybody's watching their league position well no point looking at the overall if you know where you're at. well yeah yeah I suppose 350,000 odd or somewhere you know, that's my worst ever season was 330,000. And this is just devastating what's going on with me this year. 1637. So I'm just saying, Christy, that little lead you have over Edo, the 11 points, that, that is a lot. And you've made up a load nah, of it's not. It's you've, not. It is. You, you well, that, you, can, you can make that up one player. I know, but you've got a lot of you've got a lot left in the hat, Christy. So. Um, I, I just look. Let's see what Aiden. What, let's see what the star man has. If we can possibly twenty eight points, top ten. Okay. Trying to remember, did he play all his chips? Um, star man. Let's see now. Did he wild card? I don't think he's wild carded yet. 
Yeah, I think I'm decided that after the short game week, I will have card because I'm going to be I'm going to end up with like two Brighton players and all kind of stuff, and I don't want to be going into final eight weeks with that. Yeah, well, I'm getting off all 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 the city are finished for me. I'm, I'm not. I'm 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 going for players that are scoring and do it like like Lingard is definitely going in. Fact, um, he's going to play every game. So here with Edo, he's still he's got a wild card and he's got a triple captain. So you're going to f- have a a big tussle with Starman. That's my view for that top hmm. ten, and he's not out of it. So, um, no, I think I think the people down to about fifteenth have a chance of it. Fifteenth, maybe sixteenth. I don't know. I haven't see. I can't see the league. Hold on, no. Um, fifteen. Well, down to Keith Robinson, I suppose. Keith is a stalwart. Hmm. He's got a good score this week, Keith. Um, he's always in the leagues. Look at the. He even says, "Open the pubs," <laughs> <laughs> um, which is a good vibe. You know, so he's on it. Like you know, looking at his team, that's a that's a team of what you should be on about right now. Uh, he's even got Linder. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, Werner missed. Did he? I don't know. I, I still can't forgive him after not scoring. Oh yeah. On the line that time. <laughs> and uh, let's see, Parker Wan is. Coming, uh, Morgan's dropped an awful lot in the last while in the league. Uh, Parker Wan, former top dog 2017, has got a, a pretty good team, but there again, he's got to get off Barnes. And all these guys have a pretty good team, they're coming and, and going. It just seems to be random which players, whatever you're on this week, they do nothing the next week. And that's mm. typical of a season where it's too much football, there's no resting, and every seven days, a player seems to. You know, do well, and then they go away for another six days. They have a blank week, and it's just like he look look at this story with Fernandez. I don't think he had two shots on targets in two matches, and he hasn't done that for a while. For a few weeks, he should have had a penalty the other day as well. Um, uh, was it against Sheffield United? He should have had the penalty, or he was denied one. Was it Hudson Adoy? Actually, it was, wasn't it? Uh, he should have, you know, so everybody's got gutted with that sort of, I mean, there's mm. a lot to be absolutely devastated about this double game week. And has I've, Joey, I've, has Joey used all his chips? Um, well, he's got the trip cap on there, but I'll, just going back to what I was saying, I think the, the double game weeks this year have been a false dawn. They really have. I Like some people haven't done any chips, even in a double game week. Mm. And Faceman didn't has gone two game weeks not doing a, a chip on a double game week, and that's turned out to be a master stroke, you know. Yeah. And he's got the first all, one didn't go well. Yeah, yeah, every, yeah. nothing's gone first. well. Nothing, even the wild cards this year haven't gone well. Um. Oh, you want to know about Joey? Is it okay? Um. As 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 he used all his chips. Because. It's under fifty points to, to him to face he, man, and I, yeah, mm, I'm not saying he's going to catch him, but he could give him a run. I think he's got his fa- oh a free hit left. Uh, all he's got is free his hit. free hit. So, um, yeah, I think face man is live. I think he's <clears throat> wild card and two chips. I'm telling you, mm. good luck to him. He's one of us, and he's trying to do it for the top dogs, the residents. Can he stop? <laughs> Joey from becoming a top dog. My God, if he does, he deserves the second hat. You know, Championi, <laughs> and, you know, something serious. He'd be drunk for a month, you know. Um, I wonder, would he would he take beating Joey or Mayo winning the All Ireland in the football? If, hmm. he, if he doesn't, if he doesn't say Mayo won the All Ireland, he shouldn't be allowed back. <laughs> well, well the, the thing is if you if Mayo did win the All Ireland then you lose the dream you know I think the dream is better than the actual event the dream of winning oh again it, it, once you win that's it the bubbles burst and you expect Vinny, to win next year Vinny, Vinny. no offence but in regards to Mayo and the All Ireland you're just talking crap there 
yeah, I know you want to win. You want to win. Okay. How would you uh, mean? How would you mean the dream is buried? Yeah. Oh, come well, on. Well, the, the dream is comforting. You know, the dream is <laughs> always there. The dream of mm. Sam, and to live life without that dream, you lose the the, the comfort and the net or the safety net. Um, you know, I don't know. Talking gobbledygook, but that's how I rationalize it. Um, <laughs> uh, so let's let's go on to um, our guest um, Connor Hussey's team. We we advised him to to probably do um, was it a free hit or a, a, no a triple captain? I advised him to do a triple captain, but he went for neither. He decided to go he'd go clear, um, and he would have triple captain son, which not too bad. But then again, one good game a week from from son or Kane, and it's not enough. How many points did he get? He's done very, very well. Connor is um, oh, a Ross Common footballer. I think he played, you know, for uh, um, is the Glavies in Castlery area in Ross Common. Michael Glavies. Uh, he's a Ross Common senior <clears> player. <throat> and he's got 94 and he's doing very well. Edo's a- a- in the same, uh, Starman's in the same league. Mm. So he's done brilliant and he's still got his wild card and his triple captain left. And he's doing better than any any of us with two, four, eight, and that would be upgraded. Um, brilliant game week, and his gamble paid off. He didn't either. Mm. Uh, that's what we should have done. We shouldn't have touched. We shouldn't have gone messing with our team. We should let it ride. And um, there's no advantage in double game weeks anymore, anyway. So I'm getting rid of my. I'm getting rid of my city. Any, I'm get I'm just taking massive chances for next week. Um, still got a trip cap. I'm going to plan for game week 29, Christy, and just yeah. everybody's on it. Like, like we haven't mentioned anything a hand solo, Edo, um, Harrison Ford, but his team not too bad. He's got a mess, he's got a transfer to come in there. Okay, fair enough. But, um, Are we going hand solo? Yeah, 95 <laughs> points. He came second last year and he's. Chasing mm. everybody down again. I just don't think I have enough to catch these guys too much in it. Like 50 points is just like, ah. Oh, oh. one good captain. One good captain. Yeah, that's what, that's what everyone's been doesn't. saying for 10 game weeks now. That's everybody saying, yeah, one good week. One. When's this good week going to happen? Um, <laughs> ah. Listen, a, a shout out for Mason Mount as well. He's doing brilliant. He's on penalties and he scored again tonight. Um, and Liverpool are in massive trouble. They are in free fall. Um, They're playing Arsenal a couple of weeks. That'll sort um, it. They'll start winning then. <laughs> well, uh, 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 I'm shall, listen, I'm not going to wish anything of Arsenal because... Uh, you mean let's let's go that well listen i heard a stat tonight about liverpool they've took 10 points from 10 games since they played crystal palace and done them and only like west yeah. west west brom have took nine points in that time and fulham and southampton are the others they took seven and six like that Jeez. sounds like old currency seven and six um so, so liverpool uh, are, 10 and 10. 10. 10 games, 1 3, drew 1, lost 6. Oh my God. Um, I don't know. It's a... like even, the, even the goal difference is taking a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, and, uh, well, this is how bad it is at Tottenham Spurs. This is how sad. And you're good to have on now, being a gooner. This is Go on, I need to smile. This is Spurs psychology now. If if Man United win the Europa Cup and they finish in the top four, it's it, it looks like that fifth place will get Champions League next year. What do you reckon of that? United aren't in the European Cup. The European Europa. League. Europa Cup. Yeah, but that's you have to Euro- the Ro- Europa Cup place. Because okay, they can't so enter if, it, because they're already in the top four. Yeah. So that will that there's a, a narrative after Chelsea finished ninth one year and won the Champions League, Spurs lost their top four place. 
to Chelsea. Because, yeah, so, so after that, they changed the system. Yeah, he, the winners of the Europa League go in. So, like, you know, if, if United won the Europa League and Spurs... Well, whoever hold on now. If United fifth. won the Europa yeah. League... Yeah. No, it's not whoever finishes fifth. Yeah. No, it's top four. And no, if United that place, aren't... That place goes to the, the, the... Whoever wins the Europa Club, the nationality of that team, say it's English, that hmm. place transfers to a team filtering down... The, the English Premier League, and if United are already in that top four, well then I think you're wrong. Right. go to the fifth. No, so West, I Ham think, for top. Uh, okay. West Ham. West like, Ham, check it out, check it out. But the guys have been on about. I've been watching a few blogs and watch alongs at Tottenham. There's uh, and uh, the, all the guys and they're all convinced that this is the case. So West Ham are looking good at the moment for Champions League. I'm pretty, pretty. Listen, Christy, get back to me next week or put me st- straight. No, no, no. I'm, I'm uh, not going to look it up. I, 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 I thought I, it was wrong, maybe. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, hmm. listen, I'm not. Listen, it's just. No, like my reckoning of it was. My reckoning of it was if you finish outside the top four and you win the Europa League, that's the only way you can get into the Champions League. Yeah. But what happens if you win the Europa League and you're already in the top four? The spot goes to the eighth league, which is usually Portugal or someone like that. Oh come on! No, I, no, I don't know now. I don't know the eighth league and why. What's so special about the eighth league? You know that's uh, come on. I'll type in what's the eighth league? Eighth, eighth league. What's the eighth league? I hope nothing uh, derogatory cool. comes up on this now. Because this is live, isn't it? English football, mm. pyramids. It's, out, it's just going to go into the eighth football league. No, just, 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 just go into UEFA coefficient leagues. Ah, oh, okay, okay. You're the, you're, you're the bookie. You know best, okay? I'm just putting it out there. That's what's all in the Spurs mind of things. Um... So, listen, Christy, what's your thoughts about Arsenal? Have you any chance of get, getting in the mix? I think you have, you know. You've got a game I ahead. I don't think so, because the problem with Arsenal now is, and the last week kind of showed it, that they're going to be resting players for the Europa League. So, if you're thinking of them in the Premier League, I suggest you think again, because after, after we beat Benfica, we had players rested. Five or six players were arrested. So against Leicester. So that's the kind of crack that's going to be happening with Arsenal now in the running. Because the Arteta's kind of resigned to himself that he's not going to get top four. And the Benfica game was a massive game. And I think he's going to do the same again. Yeah, so we're going to have more European football in midweek, are we? Next. Yeah. Uh, this is going to affect. Yeah, Liverpool, it's Liverpool's turn to play Champions League. So um, there was a lot of controversy with Salah being subbed off tonight. Did you see that? I didn't watch the game. I didn't. I was. I was. I was working away here now, and I didn't see the game. So I was actually wondering why he was taken off. Was it bad form or? Uh, I think he was took off. Maybe I don't know how early it could have been after sixty minutes or whatever, but he was taken off. And Sixty-two, he was ha- I think it was. And he was not happy. He was seriously. The commentators were on about there's something going on there. Um, obviously, <clears throat> uh, you know. So, so it's just to keep in mind about the European fixtures. So, like United, I think Arsenal. You've got Olympiacos, um, United of AC Milan. They are all difficult games. Tottenham, not too bad against Dinamo that's still tricky and we we got our match reversed we should have been playing them away first but the fact that Arsenal are something something to do with the two London clubs shouldn't be playing in in London at the same time there's a pro uh, yeah. so that had to so so city aren't affected by what I was suggesting at the minute you know so they should be able to play their they're probably their Saturday game. And then they should have a free run, I think. Wednesday is the, the Liverpool. Um, is there oh, no Friday City, game? Oh, City are playing the... Oh, yeah. There you go. 
So City have got their game. They got a double game week next week with Southampton. So I don't know, Christy. It's you, 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 look. You can't do anything with City. Don't we have to get off City? No. Don't we? Um, I have Jesus in there, and it's two games, so I'm definitely not going to get rid of him. But you're not going to get. You're not going to get two games out of him, Christy. Hmm. You're not going to get two games out of him. He, he was he? He's no, got... but like if I get if if I get 120 minutes out of him, that burden up. 120 minutes. Mm, okay. I, all right. So City versus United next. Um. Obviously, I I, I cannot see United oh, unless they do another nil nil and a bore fest. I would. Yeah, it's going to be nil nil, but I would love it. I would love it if they just hammered them five nil. Who City? Oh, you City beat beat United. City beat United. Uh, it would be just brilliant. <laughs> oh, you are a total. There's a word for you. It's called Schadenfreude. It's a German. No, word. I, 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 I swear to God, it's just Jesus. Like a couple of United fans there about three weeks ago, maybe three, four weeks ago, were over in the title hunt. I was like, lads, there's no title hunt. <laughs> Well, yeah, um, a, a stopped clock is, is right twice a day or something. Um, 5-0. Uh, if, it, if, it's any, if it's any less than 4-0 now, I'll be disappointed. <clears throat> yeah, so, okay, keep your guys, okay? You've, uh, got, you've got um, Isus and um, I'm sure you've got... I've got Gundogan. So you're going to keep... Cancer. Yeah, you're going to keep them all, okay? Fair enough. I'm, going, I'm not going to get... I'm, I'm definitely going to, well, I'm not going to get rid of any before the double game week, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So, Mendy, uh, Mendy, Mendy has got about quietly about getting clean sheets, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was annoyed at myself for not getting Martinez. Martinez is now dearer than Mendy. And Mendy has kept as many clean sheets as him, nearly. Yeah, I was mad about not having Martinez. I lost a few points, but I stuck with um, um, the, the Leeds goalkeeper because of his double game week, and I, I've still got him at the minute. Uh, can't wait to get rid of him, to be honest with you. I see how, like, Joey mm-hmm. and all the guys seem to have Dallas and Loughton at the right time. They transfer these guys in, and then they score, and then they get rid of them the next week. <laughs> and they're just total <laughs> brainiacs, you know? It's just computerized. I am the genius and I know it all you just need to be a professional sort of I don't know new, new, numerology oh, yeah. you need to know uh, about numerology in FPL that will really help um, okay so uh, going on about more so you're going to have a captain maybe you don't have to say, but you're going to probably captain a city player. Uh, what Show about my team? And I tell you, captain. Um, who did I captain? Yeah, Kane. Uh, I think I, I think it was Gundogan. You captain Kane um, this game this week, week but oh. I think I think I'm I think I'm switched to Gundogan. Yeah, he popped in with an assist. Yeah, um, I I like Gundogan. I don't have him. Be- I have him my free hit, but although I might switch to Jesus. Hey, Christy, you got rid of Ingsy, didn't you? And did you have Ward Prowse at one stage? I had Ward Prowse as well. He's still there. Yeah, you still have him. Yeah. So I, Ingsy. Yeah, yeah, I got I got I got rid of Ing for Kane. And I brought in Jesus, Jesus or yeah, I brought in Kane and. But the three strikers there now, I've only got on the recent weeks. And basically, Southampton aren't going to score against uh, City. So that, that's a dead game week. No. You don't want a defender. You don't want anything um, for, mm. City, for, for the Saints there. Um, and they're in such terrible form. They probably might squeak past Sheffield. But then Sheffield, they win the other day against Villa 1-0. So I, I, Chelsea, actually... Chelsea Everton's an interesting game there. Oh yeah, um, Chelsea and Everton. Yeah, I see it down there on Monday night football. Chelsea going to win to nil, I think. Tuchel is just nil. That is a defensive mastermind. Um, yeah, and, and Chelsea's doing. He's doing all right. 
yeah, that's the clash of the Chelsea managers. But I have a funny feeling Tuchel will just, you know, totally collapse in another few months' time. Maybe he'll last till the end of the season, but the following season, it's just something that I just... It's just my hunch. It's Chelsea. It's Chelsea. It's Chelsea. No they get rid of their things manager. Are, there's always Frank. something around. Yeah, go there's on. always something around the corner with them. <clears throat> yeah, well, it's looking at the minute that it's been a, an inspired choice to get rid of Lampard, and now look at Chelsea. They're 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 pushing for top four. They are looking nowhere near us. And fair play to Tuchel for coming in and doing that. But mm. oh, just something about I just think I don't know. Um, I would love it now if Everton did ha- did do something. I don't know what to do, Christy. I don't have any Everton. I had Dinya and I had um, Cal- Calvert-Lewin, but I'll be going back to Bologna um, after this, or whatever Bologna I've had before. Mm. Um, that's that's <laughs> my free hit. So what did I have? I I can't even remember what I had the week before. I don't. This is going to be uh, a shock and a surprise. Previous. <clears throat> Did the drum roll? What have I got coming? Oh. Back? I have no Everton, so that's good because Chelsea will win to nothing. Um, get in Rick Harrison. I've told you, yeah. Rick Harrison, I've told you now. <laughs> no, I'm not getting rid of no, no, no way, not against Chelsea. Chelsea, you're not conceding. I have Antonio anyway, he'll be going back. I'll probably just do a swap for Lingard and get my be topped up on my West Ham. Even though, see, it's against Leeds this uh, West West Ham. I think West Ham are probably look. The two of them are going to destroy each other. I think West Ham and Leeds. That's the fixture you want. It could be three three. They're going to go all five three. two five two either yes. side. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. Hmm. So I, I I've got all Leeds. <laughs> uh, will I have Messier or Hope? I I think I'm... I. Think Pope against I Arsenal. Think, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see the fascination with Leeds all season, to be honest. I really. Couldn't. I know. Yeah, you were in the the William camp as well. Oh, yeah. but like they've. I don't know. They've done okayish for me. I've had Bamford. They've done alright. They've really. done alright, but like, like Rafinha did well for the week before. I like Rafinha. Um, d- defensively, he's a good okay. player. He's a good player. That Rafinha. He, he's not uh, going to be at Leeds long. No, and that's why I was saying to the West Ham fans that I was saying to them that if, if they do as well as they're doing, everyone's going to be after um, uh, Kufel. Not, not so much Kufel, but Cresswell. And uh, the other dude. Mm. Um, Rice. And uh, Suchek. Oh, yeah, and Rice, of course. Yeah, goes without saying. Um, so West Ham need to keep it going and keep it going. And I fancy them to, to, to season out. <clears throat> so, mm. yeah, I'm looking forward to the West Ham. It's going to be all West Ham uh, leads for me. I'll have loads. I don't know if I'll have six players. I'm, I might, like, what's the other game? We, we've got the game we're coming up. So, Kane and Son. I'm, I'm finished with Spurs now, really. After what I saw against Fulham tonight, it's the worst ever joke in the second half. They, they, like, they, if, people, if people get in Kane and Son, granted, they have the game. In there where other teams aren't playing, and they don't, and that's a nil-nil draw or something like that. They have both of them then for the following game week. Who are they playing the following game week? Um, the Spurs have got uh, Newcastle away. Mm. It's not bad. It's not. It's a. It's a chance. And Newcastle are ravaged. With it's them. not bad. They don't have San Max. Who, 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 who are Spurs playing before? Because you mean bef- I don't know. You kind of have to look at Spurs with the tree. Just the game before. Vela. Oh yeah, they got the Gooners. We have you. So look, Harry Kane always scores against Arsenal. But I fancy that dives, to be nil nil. Dives, dives I mean. Delhi's no, back. Keep, come here. You keep fancying to win to nil and all that kind of crack, and we'll see what happens on the day. Yes, high pressure because both look whoever wins that they're going to be kicking on, aren't they? And the other one is rubbish. So that's just the black and white of football. Um, I think I think football is the root of all evil. Um, 
what did Anakin Skywalker say? Uh, you're either with me or against me. You're with me or you're my enemy. Oh, only sit still in uh, absolutes, Ben Kenobi says. And this is what <laughs> FPL is about. It's, it's pure Sith. And I feel like a Sith tonight after what I've seen with Tottenham and, and Jose, the puke football we saw in the second half. And, and also, it's just like the double game weeks, they're just Jekyll and Hyde, aren't they? Um, yeah, they are. Do you know, like... <laughs> well, it's all I wasn't over now. Get what I got, like, you know, I, just, I, didn't think, I didn't think 100 points was... Like, you know, a lot of people who got 90s and brilliant. Like, I didn't think that was, you know, a big, big thing this week, like, you know. Because I didn't see any fixtures where you thought, apart from Kane, that nobody was going to destroy anything, you know? And he didn't do it. Yeah. I, I might get in Mares instead of Madison, to be honest with you. And just, I like the look of Ma um, Mares. He's been pretty consistent. Mares is a funny one. Mares yeah. is a funny one because he was in brilliant form just before Christmas. And then Pep just dropped him. And he wasn't seen for another how many games. And now he's back again. Like, that's Pep. That's Pep for you. I... Yeah, so um, anything else to talk about with game week 27? Any other snippets? Um, so, like, do you, do you, do you, listen, I, I, I've got, I think I will probably keep with Pope against Arsenal because maybe you'll give him a few save points. Um, what do you, do you feel good about Pierre Emerick Aubameyang? Do you think that maybe one day we could get him in our teams later on? Um, the issue is Arteta is going to be arrested for the Europa League. All oh, right, so you're going to go all guns, right? Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I put it like this: a bad result against Burnley, and then another bad result against Spurs, and that's the league done. Yeah, so that that's just straightforward. Yeah, yeah. There's too much, too much to recover in a few short a time, especially when you mm -hmm. get into game week thirty. You know, there's only eight games left. Um, and Liverpool against Fulham. You think you captain Salah? Well, I, I wouldn't dare risk Salah against Fulham. Fulham were a really good passing side. They were brilliant against Spurs. They they kept possession. I couldn't believe I was. Maja, what was the goal to slow for? Um, uh, what what goal are you on about? The one that, uh, earlier on at Spurs? I, 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 I didn't see it now. I've just seen that Maja had a goal disallowed. Uh, a, who who uh, United? Were Spurs playing Fulham tonight? <laughs> yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah. Who were Spurs playing tonight? Uh, they're playing Fulham. Um, okay, maybe I maybe I dreamt this. I thought I seen that Maja, Maja had a goal as loud or something like that. That's what I thought I saw. Um, yeah, yeah. What happened there was uh, the the ball um, before he scored the the goal. His hand was down by his side, and the ball hit him with his arm straight down by his side. Uh. He couldn't get out. It, like it's it's mm. crazy decision. And VAR came back and they said, "No, it's hit your hand." Any goal that's led prior to you know a handball doesn't matter what type of handball yeah. and leads to a goal is disallowed. It was the craziest decision you'll ever yeah, see, well, and it should have been one one. They're consistent. They're consistent about that though, about yeah. the handball it's, it's, before it's goal. In fairness, like it's the one thing that they actually are consistent about these days. Um, All right. So yeah, that's that's not much more. We can, I'll just go uh, see what the story of the um, King of the Travelers. Again, that's just uh, that's Joey's um, thing at the minute. Um, Sixty points, nine ahead. Did you win again? <laughs> Um, yeah, it looks like William will be winning his game there. It looks like 
Barry Cribbins having a tough time against the average. Uh, <laughs> um, Fergie and Shane. Shane's going to win that. Um, oh, it looks like um, Joey might lose to Aiden Fitz. Uh, if we go to the live FPL and compare Aiden Fitz with uh, Nino, we'll know who's won that one. 84 plays 95. So Joey has lost in the King of the Travelers. Mm. So whoever has won this week will uh, gain. Stop the uh, congratulations, Han Solo. You are the one. Um, what the hell have I done? I'm against Morgan, 65. How the hell am I, 65? Is, can this be right? It's not updated, okay? So if we go against the live FPL, mm. I'm against Morgan. I don't know if I probably... 68, 86, sorry, plays 63. So I've, I've won that very late. So I've made three points on Joey. So that's I'm only six behind now. I'll take it and see what happens. You never know on that. Not if you get into a bad run, yeah. they, they notch up. Um, a shout out for the guru killer who took me out. He's done the double on me this season. Can you see Kevin <laughs> Kil, Kil, Kilbride there somewhere? Um, here he is. I've, oh, okay. Yeah, he, I've done it again. I know what that means. It means he's beaten the guru again in the, in the knot. That's all he lives for, you know. And he, 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 his job is to scalp people and take them and then dance and dance. Um, 52. So he's against Mark Phillips. He's not going to. Oh, I'd love it. What did Kevin Keegan say? I'd love it. I'd love it. Um, Marky not Phillips, American 80 bank. points. Oh. Guru killer, drum roll. 80 points. Where the hell is he? Oh, uh, hard luck, Guru. Guru killer. You, you're not an oracle killer. That's why he's called the Guru killer. He only kills me. Minus 12. Minus 12. That's the difference. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then the Ahar Moore League compare everything to some Mark Byrne is winning that one. It changes. Uh, Dara Hunt was leading it at one stage. Boland used to be leading it for ages. 108 points for Mark Byrne. Mm. What a score. Uh, or more, I think he's the footballer. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, the diaspora, the, the it takes in uh, Kilkelly, you know, that area, and it, yeah, not we wouldn't be so fair with who he lives around. Such a big pull that or more area. So, Martinez again is the guy, yes, um, is up to date team. It's very in the vogue, it's basically the same as Oracle's team in a way. So, yeah, Mark Byrne is on it. And don't think his points have updated. I don't know way of working out, but he's probably over 700 points there. And compare him to us, he would be probably the top two apart from Neen. And so he's doing okay. Mm. Uh, so anything left to say there, Christy? Not much more to go no, on. Right. Um, Great to be invited on again. Yeah, thanks for coming on. I sent, I sent, I sent a message out to everybody, but um, yeah, you're right. I might, I might be busy again next week. Depends yeah. on the score. <laughs> I know I, I'm busy. I'll be busy next week. It's a yeah. I didn't feel like <laughs> doing this this game week. Just the whole so it's such a downward curve tonight. The last couple of nights have been crap. I just had Fernandez going last night. And they had all the donkeys on tonight, and not, none of them are not good enough to kick in an open goal. Huh? So that's the state of it, anyway. So, Christy, thanks, thanks, Snowman, for coming, uh, coming on. Great game week for you. You're back in the hunt. You, you should hopefully, you know, someone of your standing has to get, sneak in that top ten and further and get up the overall more. You know, there's a few more behind you looking to do the same. It's been a crazy season. I, I want it over, to be honest with you. I want to start again next season. Um, I just want some normality. We can take the summer off because we're not in the Euros. Uh, thanks to mm. uh, thanks to um, Spurs, Doherty. Um, uh, seriously, on the fan yeah. forum here, they're going crazy about Doherty and Ben Davis. They're absolutely crying to get rid of these guys. Just have Aurier and Regulon. 
and, and get rid of Davis and Doherty. Doherty's been probably one of the worst signings I've ever seen since. Yeah, worst than Red Roth. Worst, I worst don't know. The worst surgery. ever. Worse than Sergi. Um, oh, Doherty, he's just, he, he's just, like what happened tonight, the Fulham player did a, a step over and, and, and Doherty goes like 20 miles the opposite direction. And the Fulham player goes the other way. It's a couldn't believe what I'm seeing. It's pure League of Ireland stuff. Seriously, no offence to League of Ireland, but Doherty should be playing for Shamrock Rovers or something. Well, sorry, Rovers. I, I, <laughs> Limerick, uh, digging a hole here. Uh, who the you uh, better, you better, Merview, before you're Merview later. United. Um, yeah, Finn Harps. Have I meant uh, what else? Um, yeah, definitely screwed cool up. Fascinated. <laughs> uh, not, I, I actually, I, I actually think he's not good enough to play for um, Ballinlock Harps. Seriously, you got the a, a player like Joey Neen and, and the two Gallagher's, you know, Kieran and Jerry. There's no, there's no fucking well in the way that she, he, he, he thrive there. But we're not happy about the at Tottenham. Um, just before no. you go, have you any player you want to get rid of at Arsenal? Is there anyone you just are you all united? Uh, don't 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 start. All right, we'll be here for another half an hour. All right, well, catch you later and thanks for joining. <laughs> See you, mate. No worries, lad. Okay, talk to you later. Okay, thanks everybody. Thanks for joining uh, tonight. Time to go and uh, rest up. God bless. Thanks for watching.